I want to start right here by the main door because this main door really says the quality of an Airstream trailer. I can tell the customer that this Zero Bow is welded in the corners, front and back. The customer can't see that. He can't see the weld on this superstructure, this aluminum superstructure. He can't see that. But when we open up our door, look at the welds in these corners on this main door. Look at the strength of this main door jam. Welded all in. Screen door. Eight welds on a screen door. Screen door guards, standard. That's something with an Airstream trailer. There's not a lot of options. Everything's standard. Screen door guards, standard. Listen, that's solid. Solid. That's going to protect you, going to protect the customer on the inside. Main door. Solid main door. One piece, one piece hinge castings with a stainless steel pin down through, bolted on. Not just screwed on, they're bolted on. One piece. Look at our jams up here, our, our, our latching system. Look how heavy that is. Again, the main door is welded in the corners, welded down here, all one piece. But if you look at the main door, what's it really look like? It's very similar to an aircraft door, isn't it? It's got that same shape, that same feel. Shut that door. My challenge to everybody is now go look at another brand, shut the door of another brand, and you're going to feel the difference. You're going to feel the difference when you shut the door. You're going to feel it, and you're going to hear it. All together different. So this is, this is our main door. Aluminum superstructure. When we're looking at this trailer, that's what we see is aluminum superstructure. There's no wood on the inside of these that's going to rot, mildew, wear out, outgassing. It's not going to happen. Aluminum superstructure. Airstream's been in business since 1931. 65 to 70 percent since 1931 are still on the road today. Pretty impressive. My challenge is to find another manufacturer that's got about half that good of stats. 1931. Rubber torsion axles. Look how low we are to the ground. We're sticking to the road like glue. Two steps. No more than two steps on any of our product. If you go look at some of the other brands, you're going to be stepping up three and four steps. Why does the Airstream trailer tow so well? Several reasons. One, low center of gravity. We're sticking to the road like glue. Enclosed underbelly. All in the center of the gear is enclosed. Aerodynamic shape. Aircraft shape is going to cut through the to the wind like a stream of air all the way through. Air is going to come underneath the bottom, roll right off right off to the bottom side. Windows. Never going to find another window like this in the industry. We manufacture these windows in-house. To build this trailer it takes an average of about 250 man hours to build it. Yes, we build our windows. Riveted construction about blocks out about 40 percent of the light. But look how far we open up. This whole window is going to open up. If we go look at the other trailer over there, the other brand trailer, just the bottom half of the window is going to open up. This whole window opens up, and it's about all the little things we do. If you look at this window, it's got a rain gutter on it. Every window that opens up on the Airstream trailers have a rain gutter across the top. So an opening window there. An opening, an opening window here with a rain gutter. All aluminum and all riveted together. Compartment door. We're going to put some aluminum down on the compartment door. Now this is a 23 fly, F, 23 FB flying cloud. Aluminum on the inside. Compartment doors. All formed around and insulated. Our awning screwed on with a little gasket back there. Now this gasket, some of the guys are going to ask you, what's the maintenance of an Airstream trailer? This gasket doesn't require any sealer. It takes the place of the sealer. This is a 25 year gasket that come out of the automotive industry. So there's no sealer that we have to worry about resealing. You still have to check the sealants on some of your roof seams and things of that nature. But when we get down here, there's no smeary smegly running off there. It's all nice, neat, and clean. Stainless steel 
rat protectors. So all this is is a sacrificial lamb to protect the segment behind here. Rock guards. This is an acrylic rock guard protecting that. Standard. Both of these two are standard on the Flying Clouds, the Internationals, the Signature Series on up. This is going to be standard on the sports. The sports going to have a little, little protective film down there. Standard. Not an option on them. Notice the window in the front? Cross ventilation. Airstream manufactures windows in the front end shell and the rear end shell. So when you go in an Airstream, it feels light and airy on the inside. When you look at some of the other brands, you don't have a window up here or you don't have a window in back. You don't get that cross ventilation. You don't get that open, the airness, the feeling. You don't get the flexibility in it. We can park an Airstream wherever we park it. We got visibility to the outside. If we're backed up to a golf car, course or if we're backed up to the ocean, we can look out the windows in the back or the windows in the front. Cross ventilation is very, very important. And we can see up here, we got our rain gutter on it, on it as well. Aluminum bottle cover. The aluminum bottle cover is made out of the same aluminum that's on the outside of the trailer. And that aluminum is a, a PP, it's a fluorocarbon, it's treated with a fluorocarbon finish. Uh, made by PPG, it's it's put on uh, applied by Alcoa. LED lights, LED lights are standard. You're going to notice on all the product, LED lighting standard. Talk about the quality and about the little things of Airstream. Looking here, this is a refrigerator compartment. Aluminum. You don't see any wood in there, do you? Strictly all aluminum. Put a little screen on there. We go one step further. It's about the little things. Again, 65 to 70 are still on the road today. That's the reason why. Standard. Black tank flush is going to be standard on all of our product. City water with a regulator built on the backside. Standard. Again, not a lot of options on an airstream. When you're looking at options on an airstream, it's going to be how do you want to cook with it? What do you want to utilize to cook? And then obviously the colors, inverter and solar panels. That's basically going to be an outside shower. That's going to be our furnace. Dump valves. Again, look, little things. Aluminum. No plastic here. That's aluminum. Aluminum casting. Front and rear. We're walking right back around to the other side. On it. Now this is a 20 to 23 FB flying cloud. Humongous bathroom in here. The whole back end takes up the bathroom. We got the toilet off to one side. The other side opens up as a opens up as a up as a shower. This dinette fold down into a bed, makes into a bed. Then we have a have a bed up here. Up on the front. This will be an FB because the front bedroom. Again, notice the windows in the front, opening in the windows in the front. The doors. The quality of the doors, the hinges. Residential style hinges. It's a European hinge, adjustable six ways. Not hollow. This is the real deal. Got all the furniture is going to be. All the furniture is going to be put together with screws and dowels. Let me just show you by this bed here. Let me raise this bed up. I'm going to raise this bed up and look. Look at the thickness of the wood. Residential style wood. We got screws all in here. You don't see any staples. Pocket screws, no staples. Everything's put together like resident style cabinetry furniture, residential uh, furniture. Our panels, no 532nd, all freestanding panels. Show me another manufacturer that bolts the hinges on. We bolt our hinges on. That's quality. Quality. This is a 23FB Flying Club.